and start. Okay, so this might be a super boring video, but um, what I'm doing, because it's, it's a little repetitive, but what I'm doing here is I am adding uh, additional universes to my configuration. So um, what I'm doing for 2016 is I am taking uh, converting a whole bunch of my snowflakes over to pixels. <coughs> So what I've done here is I have a spreadsheet and that lists out all of my new um, my new pixel snowflakes and I have figured out which universe they're going into. So what I'm doing here is I'm going through and I'm adding them one at a time. Okay, so like for example I am now putting in this is universe 19 and there are 48 pixels. However, it's a string of 50, so I'm going to put the full 50 in, but I'm only going to program 48 of them. That way I have some flexibility in the future, and it's a pain to cut off just two pixels. Give it a name. I include what universe it's on, just for my easy reference. And if we open it up, we can see there's a whole bunch of pixels. So this is actually a new feature in uh, Laterama 4.0, where you can actually add a DMX universe. Previously, if you wanted to add a whole bunch of pixels, it was uh, very hard to do it. Uh, and pretty much we were showing people how to use Bob's Vegematic tool, which is still a great tool. Um, but that's uh, no longer necessary. You can do it within Laterama itself. So now we're doing the next snowflake. It's on universe 20. So we come into here, we go to the end, we right click, we say insert device below. It is a DMX universe, I give it the name, and then we say it's RGB channels, and it is universe 20, with 48 pixels. And we do this over and over and over and over again. Um, the one thing that seems like it doesn't work is that there's that little checkbox where you can say include the, uh, the device name and the name of the channels, and it looks like regardless of what you do, that always shows up. Okay, so we are going to do this over and over again. We change the, uh, the name, and now we check it. Yep, they're all there. Now we move over to the next one. So I'm just checking these off as we go. And this is basically my list of all the, um, the snowflakes that I'm going to add. See, so we'll just do this ad nauseum. So probably at this point we'll, we'll speed up the video.
Okay, so we just finished adding the last new universe to support my pixel. So each of these fixtures is getting its own universe. That way in the future if I want to move them around or renumber them, it's a lot easier. So I just check it off my list here. I'm going to open up the whole list. And of course there's the bigger snowflakes. I don't know what they look like yet, so I haven't added them. But I have them accounted for. And this is my universe mapping. So the orange universes are the new ones for this year. The green ones uh, are left over from last year. And here's how I plan to cable everything up. Now some of the cables will be supporting more than one snowflake. And using virtual strings on the uh, Falcon Pi, um, on the uh, Falcon F16 V2 uh, pixel controller, I can uh, I can do that. So now I come in, happy with everything it is. I'm going to export the channel configuration. I'm going to save it as uh, 2.0. I had a previous attempt at this that I didn't like, so I'm redoing it here. But that saves the channel configuration so I can load it up in all, all my sequences.